What if your startup didn't just use AI, but was born from it, built with it, run by it, and scaled through it? Welcome to the AI native startup revolution. And today, we're not just talking theory. We're unpacking how to design a winning AI native business model for your agentic AI startup. And we'll end with a real world business model canvas for a customer experience automation platform. Stay tuned because this isn't your typical business model breakdown. It's the future of entrepreneurship, and it starts right now. Hey everyone, welcome to Go Lofty Academy, your go-to channel for the smartest strategies, tools, and insights to grow your business in the AI age. I'm your virtual host, Jasper. And in this episode, we're diving deep into what is an AI native business model, why agentic AI startups are the next frontier, how to structure your business for speed, scale, and defensibility, and an example of a fully built business model, canvas and value proposition for an agentic AI CX automation platform. Watch until the end, because we're going to put everything together with a real startup example you can copy, customize, or pitch tomorrow. What is an AI native business model? Let's get one thing straight. AI native is not equal AI enabled. If you're just adding ChatGPT to your help desk, you're not AI native. An AI native business is one that wouldn't exist without AI. Relies on AI as core infrastructure, not a feature. And scales because of AI, not in spite of it. It's like Uber without GPS or TikTok without a recommendation engine. AI native startups use AI to create, deliver and capture value. These businesses are architected around AI capabilities, autonomous agents, continuous learning systems, self-improving processes, inference at scale, workflow execution without human bottlenecks. So if your value proposition sounds like, we use AI to generate X for Y, you're just scratching the surface. If it sounds like our agents learn, improve and operate entire processes across functions, now we're talking native. Welcome to the agentic era of AI. In 2023 and 2024, most startups were building GPT wrappers, but in 2025, the real magic is happening with agentic AI, systems that can perceive tasks, decide autonomously, interact with tools, learn from outcomes, and operate continuously. These aren't just chatbots. They're autonomous workers, digital employees, and businesses built around orchestration of these agents are 10x leaner, 10x faster to deploy, and infinitely scalable. That's the business model opportunity. So what goes into designing a business model like this? Let's reframe Alexander Osterwalder's classic business model canvas through an AI native lens. Customer segments. AI native startups often serve. Time constrained founders, CX leaders looking to reduce headcount ops heavy teams, seeking automation or vertical industries with high info labor, health, law, finance. Value proposition. The real differentiator, 24 seven autonomous workflows, context aware, memory based execution, scalable personalization, cost efficiency with performance uplift. Example, our agents reduce ticket response time by 80% without hiring a single rep. Channels. How do you reach these customers? Well, you can take the product-led growth route. Let them try your AI agent in a sandbox or free tier. Or maybe you're more API first, plugging into platforms your clients already use. And don't underestimate partnerships. If you're integrating with tools like Zendesk or Salesforce, they can help open doors. Customer relationships. This isn't just about onboarding. It's about earning trust in an AI-first world. Start with a frictionless setup. Give users a no-code builder so they can create their first agent in minutes. Offer prompt tuning support when they need help. And make the experience feel like they're working with a co-pilot, not just deploying a tool. Revenue streams. How do you make money? The beauty of agentic AI is the flexibility. You can charge a monthly fee per agent, a performance-based fee, like paper resolve ticket, 
or even open up an agent marketplace where clients can buy or sell specialized workflows. Tailor your pricing to the value your AI is delivering. Key resources. What do you need under the hood? You'll rely on proprietary workflows. Your agents execute fine-tuned models that get smarter over time. Data pipelines for feedback and retraining and cloud infrastructure that can handle inference at scale. This is your tech backbone. Don't skimp on it. Key activities. What are you doing day to day? A lot, honestly. Fine tuning models using RLHF or LoRa, designing agent workflows, optimizing performance so your agents respond fast and ensuring everything runs safely and responsibly. You're not just coding, you're orchestrating intelligence. No one builds in a vacuum. You'll probably rely on LLM providers like OpenAI, Claude, or Mistral infrastructure vendors like GCP, AWS, or Lambda Labs. And go to market partners, especially if you're selling into enterprise. Think BPOs or platform resellers. These are the relationships that can accelerate your journey. Cost structure. And finally, what's it all going to cost? Expect big line items for model inference, especially if you're scaling fast. DevOps and prompt engineers to keep everything running. Customer success teams to help users succeed. And don't forget legal, privacy, and compliance. AI is still the Wild West in many ways. That's your new AI native business canvas. But now let's go deeper with a real startup example. Let me introduce you to an imaginary but totally viable startup, CX Agent IQ, Agentic AI for Customer Experience Automation. Tagline could be, deploy AI agents that resolve 90% of support cases before humans blink. All right, now let's bring all of this to life with a real world example. Say hello to CX Agent IQ, a fictional but totally realistic Agentic AI startup that's changing how companies do customer experience. Let's walk through their business model step by step using the AI native version of the classic business model canvas. Customer segments. So who's using CX Agent IQ? We're talking mid to large sized companies, especially in e-commerce, SaaS, FinTech and telecom. These are businesses that get thousands of support tickets a week and are desperate to scale without burning money on bloated support teams. Value proposition. Here's the offer in one line. AI agents that never sleep. They handle tickets, process returns, answer questions, and even personalized conversations all at scale. Basically, you get enterprise level support performance without the enterprise level headcount. Channels. So, how do these customers find CX Agent IQ? mostly through direct sales to digital and CX teams, partner integrations with platforms like Zendesk or Intercom, and also through CX consulting agencies who resell the solution as part of digital transformation packages. Smart, right? Customer relationships. And once someone signs up, it's not just plug and pray. They get a white glove onboarding experience, access to an in-platform agent builder. Think drag and drop for AI agents, and a dedicated customer success team to help them maximize value. It's AI, but it feels human. Revenue streams. How does CX Agent IQ make money? A few ways. A monthly or annual fee per agent, performance-based pricing, clients pay based on how many tickets the AI resolves, and soon, an agent marketplace, where companies can purchase pre-built workflows designed by other users or partners. Recurring revenue plus value-aligned pricing, or win-win. Key resources. Now let's peek under the hood. What powers the whole thing? Pre-trained AI agents tailored to specific industries. A smart orchestration engine that knows when and how to trigger actions. And a team of AI experts constantly tuning and optimizing the models. This isn't a black box, it's a finely tuned machine. Key activities. What does the team actually do every day? Well, a lot deploying and updating agents, integrating with client tools like CRMs or help desks, tuning models using techniques like RAG and RLHF, 
and giving clients access to a rich analytics dashboard so they can see the ROI in real time. They're not building tech just to show off, they're building tools that work. Key partnerships. No startup is an island. CX Agent IQ partners with OpenAI and other LLM providers for top tier language capabilities. Salesforce and other CRM giants for native integration, Google Cloud Platform to power their infrastructure and legal and compliance advisors to ensure everything stays trustworthy and secure. In short, they've built a moat with world-class allies. Cost structure. And finally, what are the big costs? GPU infrastructure to run those agents at scale QA teams that keep the AI's behavior in check. Customer success managers who help onboard and retain clients and the usual DevOps and infra teams to keep the machine running smoothly. They're investing in performance and reliability because when you're handling a company's customer experience, there's no room for error. So that's CX Agent IQ, AI agents, real impact, a business model designed for the future. Coming up next, we'll wrap with the full value proposition canvas so you can see how this all clicks together. And hey, if this inspired you, hit subscribe and check out our AI business strategy playlist linked below. Let's keep building the future together. All right, let's zoom in one last time, this time on the value proposition canvas. This is where we really understand what makes CX Agent IQ such a perfect fit for its customers. Customer jobs. Let's start with what customers are trying to get done. Most companies just want to stop drowning in low-level customer support tasks. You know, the repetitive stuff like tracking orders, answering the same five questions, or processing refunds. They also want to keep their brand voice consistent, even if 10 different people or bots are handling conversations. And here's the big one. They want to scale globally without scaling their support team headcount. Basically, how can we do more with less? Pains now. What's getting in their way? First, there's the churn. Support teams are burning out faster than ever. It's stressful and replacing talent is costly. Then there's quality and consistency. Some agents deliver a five-star experience, others, not so much. And let's not forget the biggest complaint, slow ticket resolution. In a world of instant gratification, no one wants to wait 48 hours for a reply. Gains. Now imagine a world where those pains disappear. With CX Agent IQ, companies get instant ticket triage. AI jumps in immediately, sorts, tags, and routes or resolves with zero lag. Every interaction feels personalized because the AI remembers context and adapts its tone. And best of all, they're dramatically cutting down their cost per ticket, which means better margins and happier CFOs. AI product fit. So how does CX Agent IQ actually deliver all this? Simple. Clients can spin up custom agents for each workflow, like billing, returns, onboarding, and more. They also get a dashboard with live analytics, so they know exactly how well their AI is performing. There's a feedback loop baked in, so the agents get smarter over time. No retraining needed. And set up, totally seamless thanks to plug-and-play APIs that integrate with tools like Salesforce, Zendesk, or HubSpot. So what did we learn? Agentic AI is not just hype. It's the new business operating system. To be AI native means rethinking value creation from the ground up. Your business model must support inference-driven, autonomous, always improving workflows. Moats will come from data loops, workflow integration, and agent orchestration. The future isn't about selling access to AI. It's about selling outcomes, executed by agents, faster than any team could imagine. If you found this breakdown useful, like this video, subscribe to Golofty Academy. Turn on notifications so you don't miss our AI strategy series. And don't forget to watch our curated playlist on AI Startup Design Agentic Architecture Business Model Blueprints for Founders. Check the links below. Thanks for watching. And remember, in 2025, the smartest businesses aren't just using AI, they are AI. See you in the next video.